Hello, let's talk about melatonin today, shall we? Now, what's melatonin? If you go to your doctor and say, um, can you prescribe me some melatonin? He'll say, oh, it's a sleeping drug, but I've got far better drugs than that. Um, he probably has, actually, because melatonin does help you sleep, but that's not just alone what it does. Melatonin is produced by the pineal gland um, underneath your brain about 45 minutes after you go to sleep and it knocks you into a deeper sleep. It does this in part because it sends a message to your gut bacteria and they have circadian rhythms too and a lot of those produce melatonin so suddenly the whole effect is amplified. Now melatonin has a number of benefits. For example, it's actually the biggest antioxidant we make as animals. Add to that the fact that it's very, very anti-inflammatory. So those two things, antioxidant and anti-inflammatory, are the reasons why melatonin is so healing, sleep is so healing. On top of that, it actually regulates your estrogen levels in men and women um, from your fat stores, for example, and it regulates growth hormone. Well, both those, estrogen and growth hormone, can play a role in cancer. Furthermore, they found that it has five epigenetic benefits. So it's five ways of correcting cancer cells. And on top of that, it actually can affect the receptor sites on which estrogen sits. And that could be a human estrogen or even a chemical estrogen. So it can block that action. So it's got lots of different ways of working against cancer. It's no surprise then that back in about 2002, and then again in 2004, and since then, there have been a number of studies that show taking a 20 milligram supplement of melatonin can have a huge effect against cancer. Not only can it have an effect against cancer on its own, but it can amplify chemotherapy. It can make chemotherapy work, make, work much, much better. And it can also reduce the side effects of chemotherapy. And there's a big review by, for example, Sloan Kettering on that subject. More than that, more than that, the figure is 20 milligrams. And historically, I was always told that you shouldn't take more than about three milligrams. Why? Because at 10 milligrams, you can start to hallucinate. Well, this is what the experts told me. Now, I've talked to a number of people who take 20 milligrams and they've said, it's rubbish. We've never noticed that at all. So what I suggest is that you can go straight to 20 milligrams, but if you want to, you can actually play safe Take three milligrams for a few days, go up to six, take it for three days, go up to nine, go for three days, go up to 12 and so on. Just keep going up in three milligram doses. And if you do find you're dreaming vividly, then stop and come back down one. That's probably the safe way of going. But 20 milligrams is where all the research is done. And so that's, that's up to you. In America, you can buy it anywhere. Um, in supermarkets and so on. In Thailand, I can buy it in the local pharmacy. In Britain, you, you're part of Europe, and in Europe, it has to be given to you on prescription. That is, unless you go into the Géant Casino in San Rafael, where I went one day, and it's clearly on sale there. So that's melatonin in a nutshell. We actually have an article on our website called Melatonin Self-Defense Against Cancer. And I think it's a really good article for you to read. And if you've got cancer, it's something you should be looking at. And melatonin also plays a part in prevention. For example, women who are long haul air hostesses, men who have disturbed sleep as well, who do night shift work, anybody who has disturbed sleep, there's far more chance of getting breast cancer or prostate cancer. And a small melatonin supplement can help in that instance. So that's melatonin. As I said, look at the link below. It's uh, it'll take you to melatonin, self-defense against cancer. I suggest you read it. All right, see you soon.